you'd like, I'd ask you to pray with me. Creator God, who knew each of these graduates before they were even thought of, we ask that you come to them during this time, this time that is so difficult for many. I'd ask you to lessen the disappointment that come from not being able to do the things that they expected to do. But we ask that you fill them with joy at their accomplishment. And over these proceedings, we ask you to bless them and bless this our time. I ask in the name of my Jesus. Amen. Welcome fellow graduates, friends, family, faculty, and distinguished guests. I would like to acknowledge the SRHS staff and the parents of our grads who have been working so hard to make our last few weeks as grade 12 students as memorable and special as possible. Without your commitment, it's unlikely we would be getting these last memories as Sonics. As for myself, I would like to personally thank some of the special people in my life who have helped me to become the person that I am today. I want to thank the community of Sussex. I have been given so many opportunities in this small town, it makes it hard to leave in the fall. I'm truly grateful for that. I also want to thank my church community for being a strong spiritual support system and always being there for life's downfalls and celebrations. I would also like to thank my classmates and teammates. You guys have all blessed me with some of the best memories and I'm really going to miss you all. To my closest friends, you guys rock. And without your continual support through my successes and failures, I would not be as courageous as I am today. A special thank you to Sarah Ross for literally being there since day one and by my side through thick and thin. It's also important that I thank my coaches and teachers, as they have all had a significant role in shaping my character in one way or another. I have learned many life lessons both on the court and in the classroom. I appreciate their dedication in making me a better player, student, and overall human being. One particular memory sticks out in my mind. I was having a bad game, missing my shots and making stupid mistakes. My coach Dirk subbed me out. I remember being frustrated with him and angry with myself. As I sat at the end of the bench, feeling sorry for myself, Dirk came over quietly and said, shake it off, switch your attitude, and go back on the court. Once I was able to pull myself together, I went out and scored right away. It was that easy. I just needed an attitude shift. Lastly, I need to take the time to recognize my family, since I could not do any of this without them. My grandparents, who have been my best cheerleaders through it all, and my siblings, Matthias, Aaliyah, and Eli, for constantly testing my character in almost every way possible. Although the house is never quiet, life would be extremely boring without you guys around, and I love you guys so, so much for that. Finally, my parents, my biggest supporters and my best friends. Mom, you have taught me so much by simply leading by example and showing me what a strong female figure looks like. Dad, even though I always roll my eyes at your quotes, learning books, and long pep talks, I wouldn't be able to say that I feel ready to move on to the next chapter of my life without them. You both have poured your hearts and souls into making me the bold woman that I am today, and I hope you can say that I have made you proud. Thank you both for challenging me to always work to be the best version of myself and for giving me guidance when I needed it the most. Thank you for loving me on the days that I am hard to love and constantly pushing me to reach my greatest potential. I appreciate you both more than anything in this world. I am honored to be here as your 2020 salutatorian and to have been given this opportunity to speak to you all today. I am so fortunate to be amongst some of the most intelligent, respectful, humorous, and kind people I know. After countless hours of homework, studying, practicing, and volunteering, I am able to confidently say that I am proud of what I have accomplished, and I hope that all of you graduates can reflect on your high school experience and say the same thing about yourselves. I know this year isn't anything we envisioned, but I hope you chose to make the most of it. As we begin our journey, all going off to different parts of the world and doing different things, remember that we can't expect to be perfect, to do things perfectly, or to have things laid out perfectly for us. All we can control is our attitude and how we react to situations when they don't go as we expected. I encourage you all today to make the most out of everything, not to worry so much about other perceptions, and to simply be yourselves and enjoy all life's ups and downs. If there's anything we have learned in the last few months, it's that things can change in an instant, so always be grateful for what you have in each moment and cherish it. As my dad always says, attitude is a choice, so choose wisely. 
Thank you to everyone who made this year memorable, and congratulations to all of the graduates of 2020. My name is Zoe Watson, Superintendent of Schools for Anglophone South School District, and it is my pleasure to have an opportunity to offer the graduates of Sussex Regional High School congratulations and best wishes on behalf of the district and the District Education Council as you graduate from 13 years of public education. At this time of year, I have the pleasure of attending year-end celebrations and graduation ceremonies. This is the first time for me to bring virtual greetings to our 1,800 graduates in 14 high schools from Sussex to Campobello Island. And thank you, Mrs. Lardson, for the opportunity to speak to the class of 2020 at Sussex Regional High School. I know the last few months have been challenging for everyone, your families, the staff at your school, and for you as students, as education moved from the classroom to the online world in April. This was a major change that happened quickly for you and your teachers. And congratulations to those who were able to complete courses for credit online. I always encourage graduates to be lifelong learners. And the last few months have illustrated how we have all learned, regardless of our age. We have learned how to keep ourselves healthy and safe. We have learned the phrases physical distancing, family bubbles, window visits, and the importance of wearing face masks, all new to us. Another message to graduates is the importance of being resilient, that there will be disappointments and things that don't go your way. And you have experienced that this spring. You, your families, school staff, and your communities are disappointed that we can't gather for our traditional proms, marches, graduation ceremonies, and safe grad celebrations. This spring has pushed all of us to be problem solvers and to work to figure out how to recognize and celebrate this milestone in your life with your family, friends, and the greater school community. Graduates, your school has prepared you for the next steps, be it further study, an apprenticeship program, directly to work, or perhaps some, you need some time to figure out what the next steps will be. The first leg of the journey is now complete, and you must continue to learn, to be resilient, and to be a problem solver. Regardless of where your path will take you next year, remember your community. You live in a beautiful area of our province. You may leave the area for a time, but always come back. Your community has been very supportive of you. Remember to give back. Look for ways to volunteer and help others. Thank you to the administration of the school for the leadership that you provide each and every day and to the teaching and support staff. We acknowledge all that you have done for these graduates during the school day and the many extracurricular opportunities offered after school hours and on the weekends. These are all opportunities for learning. To the proud families and community members, I would like to recognize you and your contributions. Education is about all of us working together. As the old saying goes, it takes a community to raise a child, and school is a partnership with family and community. In closing, graduates, I ask you to thank those who have supported you along this 13-year journey. A family member, a staff member, a coach, a mentor, 
This is the time to remember them and let them know that they made a difference for you. Congratulations, Class of 2020, and all of the best in your future. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable but in the end is right I hope you have the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos of memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Jury. I'd like to say welcome to all the family, friends, and admired administration who came to watch this today. And congratulations to all my fellow classmates. As graduates, we are transitioning into a new chapter of our lives. All of us are heading out into a world in a time of major changes. And as graduates and new adults, it may sometimes feel like we're inheriting a weight too heavy to bear. The important thing is to realize that none of us are ever alone in shouldering this burden. Every member of this graduating class is tied together. We've shared 13 years of friendships and falling out, of learning and growing, of planning our futures together and apart. And now we've been further bonded by circumstances outside of our control. Graduating during this pandemic is something only a 2020 grad can truly understand. Not our parents, not our teachers, not even other students, just us. Class of 2020, we have risen to the occasion. We have borne this adversity with grace. We have proven we will not only do what it takes to protect ourselves, but protect our community as well. We were forced into an unprecedented and insanely difficult position, and we found a way through it. In the midst of the hurt and loss we feel, make time to be proud of yourself. Thank your families and friends for supporting you in more ways than it is possible to count. They were the ones who dragged us out of bed each morning, made sure we were fed and clothes for school, who herded us out the door to the bus stop or drove us to school themselves, who helped us with homework, paid our class fees, and listened to our complaints, who came to our plays, attended our sporting events, and chaperoned our dances, who commiserated over our daily dramas but tried to give us enough space to learn how to work things out ourselves. These are just a few of the thousands of ways that they've supported us throughout our journey. Remember to thank your teachers as well for so unselfishly sharing their time, talent, and knowledge with us. Yes, we know it was their job to do so, but what they did for us went beyond the call of duty. 
They took the time to explain assignments, sometimes repeatedly because we weren't always paying attention. They allowed us to come to their classrooms at lunch or even after school to get extra help when they could have gone home to spend time with their family. They put in the effort to make lessons more interesting so we wouldn't just tune out. They demanded excellence from us whether or not we wanted to give it. They set the bar high and challenged us to live up to it. But most importantly, remember to thank each other and remember to thank yourself. What you've achieved is important. This moment in your life is important. Nelson Mandela once said that education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. And on this auspicious occasion, as we look back and celebrate the achievements of our graduates, it's in my deep belief that each of us graduating today is gaining the power to change the world. I know that everyone here will accomplish fantastic things in their future, and our relentless perseverance in the face of difficulty is a testimony to that. Today, we officially leave high school behind and step forward into the world. Remember to be proud and what we've, and what we've accomplished together. We've more than proven ourselves ready for whatever comes next. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. May I begin by thanking all of the parents and families who have shared their young adults with us and supported us as we've worked together to educate our Sonics. I'd also like to thank a special thank you to all of my colleagues from kindergarten to grade 12 who build relationships and work to provide the best learning opportunities for each of these graduates. The memories of our past four years together here at SRHS are endless, and it's with these moments in mind that saying goodbye is not an easy task. Each year, we review and remind our Sonics of our vision, and as we celebrate you today, I'm proud to say you have been and will continue to be respectful of the space and expectation of your community you have been and will continue to do your best with whatever it is you set your mind and heart. You have been and will continue to be involved so as to leave your mark and make your life meaningful. We truly care about you and wish each of you the very best. Please join with me in congratulating our 2020 Sussex Regional High School graduates as we are truly proud of you.